Hi guys, welcome to Daughters of Elyon, branch from Light Church. We thank you for joining in in our Power of Ten tonight. Um, a couple of days ago, we were just raw with our video footage on a little glimpse of what it truly, truly means to fear the Lord. Now we know that fear runs rampant, especially during these end times with what's going on between China and Russia. You guys, when things like that happen, mind you to keep in prayer, to keep our country protected here in the, in the United States and all the other countries all around. Um, there's also the fear of inflation. There's also fear of, you know, careers, if they should be ran or not. Churches, if churches should, certain churches should close down or not. Too many fears going on. Um, will, my, will I be able to see a doctor due to medical insurance? All these things, fear is just rampant around this world. And it, it seemed to be getting worse during these end times, especially after COVID. But the one thing that we're losing track when we fear is actually God. And so when we lose our track, our focus on who we should truly be fearing, all of these things go haywire in our lives. And so when we put our focus back on who we should truly be fearing, it should be God alone. But I'm here today with my spiritual son, Daniel, who will break it down. He is very deep in the word, very sound in doctrine. We, we do have guests here. They would either be a son and daughter of ours from the Light Church or someone that we know that is solid and grounded in the word and their walk with the Lord. So tell us, Daniel, what does it truly mean to fear the Lord? So, first of all, let's uh, go to the scripture. So, in Psalm 111, the verse 10, it, say, it says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. And for me, I have understood that why does the Bible mention the wisdom instead of being smart or being clever? The fear of God, uh, nowadays, people understand to fear God is when they commit no sin. They don't get drunk and don't go to the bar and don't go to the club. And that's why they say to be a fear of God. But the fear of God starts in our secret places. Because when you go in Matthew chapter 6, the Bible say, mm -hmm. go in your room and pray your father. Your father will answer you in the secret. So... The fear of God is when we respect God's commandments according to the certain times He wants us to act. As you go to Matthew chapter 6, it says, Our Father in the heaven, may your name be glorified, may your will be. And after the will of God, then comes our daily bread. So we receive our blessing when we do God's work according to to the time he wants us to do because the bible say if you don't you do god's work mm -hmm. uh, without love i don't know how to say that in english mm -hmm. but uh if you don't do you don't devote yourself to do god's work you won't be blessed and god's work is not just a church god's work is everywhere we living in our daily life because the way we came on these words, we came in these words as workers, and God is the boss. Amen. Amen. We came to work. So every single day, we have to produce something. And once we produce something, God increases wisdom Amen. in our life. So the fear of God is not just to not go to the club, to not be drunk, but it's when you do God's work according to the time he wants you to do because the bible say be respectful and don't have hard head that's what i understand about the fear of god thank you man amen that is really good wasn't that deep so when we focus into all these other things um you know if we we put into the definition of what does the word fear mean let me see the, the true, the definition of fear, it would say an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or threat. So if we, when we put our fear 
into certain things like what I love about what you mentioned about mm -hmm. bosses and all that stuff. A lot of people go into work, you know, um, fearing their bosses, thinking that they're going to be fired, forgetting that God gave them that job to begin with. Mm -hmm. And so the word says, you know, you're not supposed to fear no man, but you're supposed to fear God. And so once you're fearing man, you are putting your hope into man alone and not God. And you also get sidetracked, you know, instead of like putting your service onto the Lord, you end up putting your service into man. And that's why that fear turns into the person that you're working for, forgetting, you know, again, this is this is what we're doing at the Light Church is the year of focus, you know, so you're, you're fearing man that you might lose your job because of a, a, a mistake that you made. But you gotta remember that God gave you that job and the word tells you, tells us that we're supposed to serve man as if we are serving God. That's where our focus should be. So I, I really love that. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you want to put in place with fear? Where our, our, our true focus in fearing God is? Yes. Oh, so I found the right word in English. Awesome. Actually, uh, I'm a French speaker. So for those when, of you, yes, yeah, for those who don't understand, I'm a French speaker. I'm trying to translate by my mind. That is okay. So um, the Bible say, if you don't do God's work well, you will be cursed. Mm -hmm. And when you will be cursed, you don't have life, you don't have blessings from God. Mm -hmm. But there is always a way to be saved from death. Because that's what God did. And he, does, he saves us every single day by giving mercy upon our lives. Mm -hmm. And one more thing, in Titus chapter 2. Oh, I love that book. And the Bible says, exhort servants to be in subjection to their own masters mm. and to be well-pleasing in all things, no contradicting, not stealing, by showing all good fidelity, mm. that they may adorn the doctrine of God, our Savior, in all things. So, the doctrine of God, that's not a point, but the doctrine of God and fear of God, God wants us to be obedient Amen. according to the times he wants us to work because he's the God of time and circumstances. If you remember Amen. the Bible, it say, my time has not come yet. Amen. God had a time to act. Amen. And every single person, because he say, God created us according to his likeness. Amen. So we have a time to act in our lives. So the fear of God is the kind of person that's Pay attention to God's commandment Amen. and act according to the time he wants us to act. So every single person has his time to act. And Amen. we have to pay attention as Abakuk paid attention to the mountain Preach. in order to receive what God wants us to do. But in the certain time he wants us to do. Amen. 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 So for the, oh, yes, let's give that a hand clap. Like, like, we praise God for that. We praise God. God for speaking through Daniel today for those of you guys that are fearing and so you got to remember that every thought that you have you know render cast those thoughts down that that is the first thing to do and then you just got to seek God for everything you know we got to obey God obedience is so important to God and it is what Daniel was saying it pleases God we have to follow his commandments we have to follow in seeking him we got to follow his ways and his ways alone you know, so whatever thought comes to mind that is fearful, just put that back into focus in what, what God's mindset truly is. But um, isn't he deep, you guys? He has so much more to give out. What is it? What? what, what, what? He, he, he's flowing with uh, rivers of yeah. living water. So <laughs> yeah. well, we'll come back for more. And um, thank you for tuning in to Daughters of Elion. May you be pleased by this. I'm happy and, um, you know, just just rejoicing in what God is doing in your life in the moment right now. Is it a relationship that you're fearing of losing? Is it truly finances? Or are, are you someone that's trying to seek who God is but stuck in a religion? And you're like, I want to know who that God is where these people are saying, I, I should not fear sicknesses or losing a job or whatever it is, fearing my boss, whatever it may be. You know, it's okay. We have testimonies galore.
But again, I love you with the love of God. And um, thanks for tuning in for a power of 10. We'll be here next, next Tuesday, um, same time at 7 p.m., possibly with a guest speaker. Not sure, but we'll find out. Stay tuned.